What's up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Vidugo Vibes here and welcome to another video. Something a little bit different. I've never done this before so I don't know how this is going to go to be honest with you. But today's video, we're going to be doing a challenge related to Zara. So basically, we're going to see how many outfits I can pull off with $200 worth of Zara clothing. My main priority is buying not into fast fashion, but buy stuff that's slightly trendy, but not over the top. And then how many outfits can I pull together with $200 worth of clothing, like I said before. This challenge is gonna be pretty, pretty difficult. I'm not gonna lie because of the fact that Zara doesn't have any sales right now. Zara online for Australians. Reminding you, this is an Australian based channel, so everything is in Australian dollars. Um, Zara Online opens Australian wide, so everything is about 50 to 60, 70 dollar price point. That's the minimum. So it is going to be kind of hard to get steals and kind of, you know, get cheap items. But we're going to see how we go. Basically, the rules are very simple. I've got 200 dollars to splurge. I can buy whatever the hell I want on the Zara website. But I'm going to stick to clothing and not footwear or accessories because one accessories just it doesn't. It won't work for Zara because they don't really have that many accessories and for the price point that I have. And secondly, I'm going to use the shoes that I have in my collection to uh, put together these outfits. Because, you know, shoes from Zara, there might be 100, there might be 80 bucks, I don't know. But that's already half the money gone in just fucking shoes, so there's no point. And that's pretty much about it. I'm going to change the lens right now, so just give me one second. Much better, we've got some nice wide angles, some juicy wideness, but here we're gonna go, we're gonna search the web right now on Zara Online. Basically, they just opened up about a couple days ago in the new Zara Online, and I did browse a little bit just to grasp like a kind of concept and what kind of outfits I can put together with this type of video. And let me tell you, there is a lot, a lot of clothing. So this video would be very, very long if I had to browse through everything. So we're gonna keep it to a bare minimum and just go through just quick, simple stuff and mainly just the top portions of each like category because that's the more like, um, not so much trendy stuff, but the more popular items. With all these outfits in mind, I wanna just have one item where I can just base it all around on, pretty much. I wanna have like maybe like a black pair of trousers or a black pair of denim and go about all that because having like so many trousers, it won't work because the price point, because trousers are between like 50 to $80 and that's just one pair. If I buy two, that's 160 bucks. I can't go anywhere else. So I'm gonna go with trousers first and I think I will have a look at like the pants. We'll go trousers first and see what we can come up with. But um, having a look, like these aren't too bad. It's a nice pair of beige trousers with the red, two red stripes and then a navy stripe as well. Very, very formal, not formal fitting. It's very slouchy and loungy at the same time. But I don't really do those type of stripes. I would much prefer like a single stripe and that's it. I think this is a little bit too much overkill. Um, and these are $90. That's already like fucking half my budget in just trousers. Um, the color is camel. It has just a button fly, red stripes. Like it's not bad. They're actually like a not bad pair of trousers. But I'm not paying 90 bucks, so we're just going to move on from that. These ones are called the Jogging Trousers with Piping. These are $90 as well. What the fuck, man? I'm, this is going to be so hard to find trousers that are so cheap. Fuck. So these ones have, I think they're like a more like, um, I don't think they're more of a trouser material. I think they're more of like a cotton jersey. And they have elastic waistband, elastic drawstrings. They have a bit of a cuff at the bottom and has white piping on the side. Um, I think Zara is really trying to push the stripes on trousers, if you can't already tell. Um, but I mean, I want to go with that stripe theme. That's something I really want to definitely go for. But I want to see what else they have. Oh, those look fucking ugly. What are those? Embroidered crop trousers. They have like this... Uh, uh, I don't know. What the... F um, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna try denim. Like, there's these baggy trousers with a, um, a really, really crazy drop crotch. Definitely giving off like a semi Rick Owens type vibe, like a kind of Asteria trousers. But the Astera isn't that much of a drop crotch. I think I'm pronouncing them right. I don't even know how to fucking pronounce. So I'm going to pass that. I'm going to try denim instead. Let's go suss some denim. The aim with denim is I don't want a skinny fit. Because looking at these ones, I can see the outline of their calves. Like, if you can see the outline of someone's calf, if you have calves, they're too tight for you, dude. These are the carrot fit jeans with a chain. So they actually do come with the chain in black. They don't look too bad, but they're too skinny. That's not a carrot cut. They're not wide enough at the top. They need to be nice and wide and then taper slightly. Uh, we've got skinny skinny jeans with chains. I don't want that. Relaxed fit denim essential jeans. These actually don't look too bad. They're more of a relaxed fit. 
something I'm much more um, into in terms of denim because that's really all I wear. I wear a relaxed fit and have that taper. And these actually don't look too bad in black. You can kind of base an outfit around black. And they're only 60 bucks. They're cheaper than the trousers and they're a lot more low key. They're like, you know, not as trendy. It's just a black pair of jeans. Um, yeah, these don't look too bad. I will leave these on the side. I'll go back and then put these in a separate tab. The relaxed ones come in like a, like a Levi's, like dad jean color. I'm gonna probably skip on that just cause I don't really want that. Okay, these are fucking hard and I'm so copying these. Like I don't even need to look for another fucking pair. They've got burgundy and they've got navy blue, but the navy blue looks fucking black. That's definitely black. That's not navy blue. Um, let's start the black pair. These are a pair of Carrot Fit Comfort Jeans, $60 in navy blue, but that looks black. And basically it's a navy, navy blue pair of denim with a gray stripe on the side. The stripe's very low key. It's very subtle, I would say, because it is like contrast, like gray and black. Like it's not like a fucking white stripe or anything. And they're carrot cut and they look really white up top and then they tape it a little bit and they're a little bit more cropped. So maybe I can wear like a low cut shoe for it because these ones they're wearing derbies and it looks really, really nice. I would actually buy those derbies, but I, it won't go in my budget. And I do like that knitted sweater with it too. That's literally such a nice look. I'm going to get these. I don't know what size. These run like 38, 40, 42. Um, it says here from like my measurements, I put in that I'm a 34 waist. So my size is a 44, which I'm, a I'm assuming is a 34 in a sense. So I'll get that. I'll add it to my cart, which means I have $60 spent and I've got 140 left to spend. Now I've got the trousers sorted. I've got to revolve everything around those striped trousers. So I can't wear anything that's like striped on the side or else it just looks super funky. But um, who the fuck uses funky? Seriously. We're gonna go with a basic white tee because that that's just the you can be with everything, man. It's a basic tee. I can revolve around it. I can have it as a standalone piece. Would I probably wear it like standalone with the trousers? Probably not because it might be too boring. But I'll go. Where is it? Basic t-shirt and we'll go simple white tee. Deluxe tee, twenty bucks. Is that super super overpriced? Yes, because. I can get this at Uniqlo, and the Uniqlo ones are a lot nicer anyway. It's got this ribbed like neckline. Meh, 20 bucks, throw it in my car. We'll go with size large, because now I officially fit a large. I could go medium if I want to for a nice slim fitting garment, but I'm just gonna go large just to be super safe. $20, which means I in fact have got 120 bucks to spend. What could I go about? And I'm gonna go knitwear, because knitwear, ugh, it's just so, so nice. Jumpers and cardigans. First thing that I see is this dumb. This is dumb. <laughs> it's a navy sweater with 55 on it in yellow. Like, why? And there's a white one that's got a two. Is that even like a proper two? Or is, yes, there's a two. It says literally sweater with number. What does that number mean? I don't even fucking know. I'm just gonna completely ignore that and go down. Hopefully we find something nice and Oh my, I didn't have to look far for this. I'm not even I'm not even taking the piss right now. I didn't have to even look far. It was literally the second item in this cardigan and jumpers. And it's an oversized brioche stitch sweater, which features cotton ribbed linings. So it's a vertical cotton ribbed pattern throughout the whole turtleneck. Turtleneck, sweater, sorry. It looks like it has a very, very tight collar and it has um, thick stitching along down the shoulders for a drop shoulder vibe. And also, I think it might have a... It's got it on the side as well, but it's super low key. You're not even really gonna see that. So it's not even really a problem. And, oh dude, that's fucking nice. The ribbing on the bottom is like low key. It's not even like proper ribbing. It just blends with the piece. This is fucking sexy. I'm gonna get this. It's oversized. So I think if I stick with the large, I should be sweet. The large should be slightly oversized. So it should fit kind of like that loungy, just, just throw it on with like track pants or even just dress it up with trousers if you want to and give off that type of vibe. So I'm definitely gonna go with this oversized stitch sweater in orange. And orange, like why not? Orange is a color that I don't wear and it's something that's out of my comfort zone when it comes to wearing colors. So that's something I'm definitely gonna roll with. Put together, it leaves me with 149.85. So I've got $51 to play with. What the fuck am I gonna find with 50 bucks? I'm gonna have to, cause that outerwear piece, it's not really outerwear, but it kind of is. The knitwear piece is a standalone. The white tee underneath is pointless, so it's not gonna work. So I need to throw on something over the top of this white tee. 
and I think a short sleeve shirt might do the trick, honestly, because the short sleeve, it's that nice SLP type vibe that I definitely want to go for when it comes to an open shirt. So let's see what we can find. We'll go to shirts and then casual, is that casual? Yeah, we'll go casual. No, we'll go printed shirts, we'll go print. I'm gonna have to go with this printed floral shirt. It's this viscose shirt with a flower print on it. It's the main basis is navy. And it's got hints of red, orange, like a bit of aqua in there. It's got a bit of like cream in there as well. Very, very nice. Super spring, super summery vibes, which I don't mind because with the jeans, it'll fit quite well. Just have like that as a standalone piece. It'll be fine. White tea underneath, I think will look fine because black tea, it just wouldn't go well because the black on black trousers won't separate your top and half, top and bottom half perform. Proportions. So we're gonna have to just go with the extra large. It might be too big for me. I don't know, but we'll see. I'll go with an extra large and then I think overall we're done. Like you guys might kill me because I think it ends up being yeah, it's three hundred and five dollars and eighty cents, but it includes the GST. So chill bro, just chill. I will see you guys in a couple days or so. It usually says next day delivery, but I'm ordering on a Friday, so it'll probably come like over the weekend or some shit. But yeah, I'll let you know when it arrives and then hopefully we can pull some fits together. So I will see you then. So it's officially been a couple days afterwards, just over the weekend. It did say next day delivery, but I did order on a Friday. So it has been the weekend. I'm gonna try everything on. Hopefully everything fits and I'll get back to you in a second. And let me just say that the front says, Dear Australia, we are now online because, Jesus fucking Christ. Because they just went online. I don't know if I told you that before. They did go online as of a couple days before I even ordered. And actually, not gonna lie, the packaging is pretty, pretty nice. Like, I wouldn't expect this from a fast fashion, like, outlet like Zara. Um, but yeah, it comes folded and everything. Oh, this, the, okay, this turtle, this, like, sweatshirt's fucking fire, dude. Um, alright, I'll just let you know how everything fits and, yeah. Just give me a sec. Alright, so I'm packaged everything and as you can see, I'm wearing one of the items right now. But packaging-wise, I was pretty shocked. Like, it was very... I felt like a very high-end, luxurious type of feel when you unbox it. And apologies if I'm sweating because it's so hot in here and I had to try on everything. Let's get into my favorite part being the outfits. Now, outfit number one is just that sweatshirt, the knitwear orange ribbed sweater, and my trousers, the black with the gray stripe or navy gray stripe, whatever. I rocked that with my ranger boots and I love this look. I feel like I'm gonna wear this all the time because it's so very loungy, but you can it's like almost kind of like a dressy type look. It's mixed in between and that's what I like. You still look semi cozy wearing like the oversized uh, sweater, but you still have like that nice wide fit of the jeans and then the boots just complement them because it's fucking combat boots, bro. Like, come on. Second outfit, I'm going for that more SLP rocket type vibe, leaving like the long hair out just a little bit having this very oversized viscose flow shirt as the main attraction, pairing up with the same jeans because it's the only ones that I bought, and the SLP Ranger boots to complement everything overall. I wish that the jeans obviously were a little bit more longer so you can cuff them, but at the same time, they don't look too bad like at that length. I wish they were either a little bit shorter or a little bit longer. It's kind of like at that semi-awkward length. Third fit, I would include like a fourth one, but I'd just be a white tee and jeans and that's kind of boring. Like it's not boring, anyone can do it, but I feel like not for this video anyway, but this third fit is the same iteration as the second one, but I have the white tee underneath the actual open shirt. So same shirt, same trousers, white tee underneath, but I switched up and wore the um, Gucci loafers, which you probably can't even see on camera anyway. No, you can't. Definitely think that the Gucci loafers pair really well with the denim in this case, because the denim's quite cropped. I didn't know whether to reveal the ankles or not, so I decided to just go black on black, just because yeah, I didn't really know how to go about that. So I left black socks, Gucci, horse bit loafers, and the trousers being nice and wide, open shirt, and white tee underneath. Definitely, definitely love this look, um, but it needs a belt and needs accessories. It's just something that's essential for everybody and something that, yeah, need to implement in the next challenge video, I think. But nevertheless, I'm super happy with all these pickups, man. Like, I'm really, really surprised that they had, for one, such a variety of stuff to choose from from an online store, because um, in-store has nothing like that. The sweater is definitely my favorite pickup. The t-shirt, it's freaking shit. It's not even worth 20 bucks. This viscose tee, it's so lightweight, drapey, um, flowy, and just 
beautiful in all the right areas and the jeans surprisingly fit really freaking well i would love to get these jeans but just black without the stripe and then with the horse beat loafers definitely gives off that nice clean vibe but with all that being said hopefully you guys did enjoy this video it is a little bit something different let me know in the comments down below what kind of other challenges you guys want me to do what kind of other brands do you guys want me to venture into and do another challenge for i would love to see your guys suggestions and with all that being said if you want to go ahead and join the gang Hit that subscribe button. It's literally right there. And then go check out my recently uploaded video as well, which is over there. And I will see you guys in the next video on Vitugo Vibes. I'm out, guys. Peace.